Hey, Pearsall members. Welcome to the Pearsall Tarot Card Draft for the month of November. Um, the card we drew this month is the Hierophant. And I love this card because I really feel like this card challenges us to be our best self. And the way that I view this card is that this card represents and encourages that religious doctrine is so beneficial as a path to spiritual progress. The Hierophant wants you to find all of the hidden secrets within you and wants to, to bring those hidden secrets into a balance, into a relationship between your body and soul. And kind of like the Hierophant encourages us to blend the spiritual with the earthly or um, the mystical with the physical. And this card talks about the devotion to religious teachings as being the pathway to do that. So accepting your faith's positive message and faithfully observing its traditions, it really leads to an understanding of its greater mysteries. So the Hierophant asks that you take a deeper look at things and find the deeper meaning behind things. So there's a story behind the story. <laughs> Practice the outer and the inner will become revealed to you. So I can kind of give you an example of that. I did this 54-day rosary novena. I've, I've prayed it like, I don't know, so many times since I was younger. And I was it's a 54-day rosary novena. So I was very focused and dedicated and devoted to doing it every day, doing it at the same time every day, sitting in the same room, um, listening to the same like background music. So I basically took time to figure out where was the space I was going to do this rosary in and how was I going to pray it. And I really tried to be mindful of the rules of the rosary, be very focused on it, very devoted to it. And I was doing the outer, you know, following the rules, like I say, of this novena. And I did it the first time following the rules. I did it the second time following the rules. But by the third time that I did this 54-day rosary novena, I started to discover things about this rosary novena that I hadn't seen the first two times that I prayed it. And I believe that that's what the Hierophant is talking about. Like choose a practice of spirituality or your religious faith practice and really take time to devote yourself to it, devote yourself to the prayers, be consistent, be observant and participate in all of the traditions. So this card really wants you to define um, who you are in the spiritual because that's the hidden part of you. You know, our human self is so directed by our conditionings and our experience on earth that sometimes we don't give voice to that spiritual self. And when we are mindful of rituals and our faith is strong and we are repetitive in that, consistent in it, then secrets are revealed within you. Secrets are revealed about the faith you're practicing or the spiritual practice that you are focused on you know it's not like you decide to lose weight and you decide to do a diet and you do the diet for one day and then it's all taken care of no it takes time it takes practice it takes repetitive consistent behavior and focus and the hair offense is not flexible like you have to follow the rules with this tarot card and it reminds you to follow the rules and that you have to be focused and dedicated um, strict rules focus devotion that is the key to uncovering all inner secrets and all hidden mysteries in the faith that you practice or in the spiritual practice that you follow. So the Hierophant also encourages you to be humble. Don't go off on your ego. Don't go through life um, trying to control it. Be surrendered to your faith, surrendered to humility and being humble. And that's the only way that this card indicates 
success can happen is when you're not prideful about things. And if you are prideful, if your ego does get in the way, it's only going to bring you problems because humility is the only way to discover spiritual truth. So study, devotion to your spiritual path is the way that you are going to uncover the true you. So here's a few things. Like if you are the Hierophant, congratulations, you did it. It means that you have intuition, you have insights, you've gained um, deep knowledge of the spiritual. And now you're placed in a position where people come to you for advice. Uh, you have the ability to explain complex spiritual ideas in very simple terms. Like you've done the work and you succeeded and you can trust um, your ability to discern between spiritual and ethical matters and you have succeeded in that focus and in that devotion. So that's huge if when I talk about this card, you think, oh, I'm the Hierophant. If you have a Hierophant in your life, maybe you're not the Hierophant, but maybe your best friend is, or your mom, or a coworker, or somebody that's in your life, maybe they have done all the work, and they have done all the practice, and the devotion, and the consistency, and they have insight, and they have this learned knowledge that they gathered through strict devotion follow this person listen to this person trust this person because they've put in the work and they do have something to say now the hierophant is not an arrogant figure in your life this is somebody who is very humble but it's also very important that you approach the hierophant with respect you know they went through a lot in their life to be able to like guide and direct you. So make sure that you take note of the things that the Hierophant in your life is telling you. And the third thing is if you're striving to be the Hierophant, the way to do it is devotion to a religious or spiritual practice, to be diligent in your worship, to obey the rules of the faith or the devotion that you are um, consistently working on and to do all the things that that spiritual practice or religious doctrine asks you to do and keep in mind that the hierophant is stubbornly determined and when there is a will there is a way so if you're working to be the hierophant keep going keep studying keep being devoted you will get there so that's it for the Hierophant. I hope that I see you guys at the Pure Soul premiere. Um, ask Nikki, and that is on the third Thursday of November. And I can't wait to see everybody. Have a great day.